center of mass of a thin rod of uniform density we have studied the center of mass of a solid body with uniform density but in that there was an addition of specific geometrical shape here also there is a specific geometrical shape so i am giving you the figure of a thin rod so in the figure a thin rod is shown this thin rod is having mass capital m it is having the length capital l and the uniform mass density is equals to lambda now if you notice one thing over here that in the positive x direction a thin rod is placed at the center of mass which is not necessary at present so forget that but if you consider a small line segment dx then at a distance x from the origin as is shown in the figure see here the distance x and the line segment is shown now what is the definition of density according to the density the mass per unit length is called mass density therefore the mass per unit length of the rod is equal to lambda and that is equal to m by l so the mass of line element dx is dm is equals to lambda dx that is equal to m by l dx now see from where this equation came if you remember the center of mass formula then it was the mass into displacement divided by total mass so this is just the modified equation of that but the center of mass of the rod we can find out from this particular equation also therefore the center of mass of the rod is equals to x c m is equals to 1 over m integration x 
Cm. Therefore, x Cm is equals to one upon m integration zero to l x dot. What is the value of dm? We have earlier obtained m by l into dx. So here, if you see, this m m are cancelled out. This l is constant with respect to x. So I can put it outside of the integration. So zero to l x dx. Now the integration of x dx is we know x square by two. But the limit what we have to put is zero to l. So according to the properties of integration, we have to substitute the values, and it is maximum value first of all. So l square by two minus the initial value or the lowest value is zero. So it is l square by two minus zero. So finally, you will get one upon l into l square by two. Therefore, f c m is equals to l by two. Means the length is half. So at half of its length, we will get the center of mass. So we can say at the midpoint. So this can also be a screen one mass M C Q. Because your 50% weightage will be now given to the MCQ question, so it can be asked in this way at the midpoint, or we can say at the midpoint. And this midpoint is nothing but our geometrical center. Which we have already proved is the triangular type of structure. Now we will see the last illustration of chapter.